Huawei Mate 40 Pro could be Huawei's two best phones of 2020, but many questions surround them. Not just the usual questions of specs and features, but also whether they will run Android and whether they will even release in much of the world. We don't have concrete answer to any of that yet, but we can speculate, and as news and rumors start to roll in, we will update you accordingly. The Huawei P40 launch that's expected early in 2020 may give us a clear answer to that question. The Huawei Mate 30 and Huawei Mate 30 Pro were announced on September 19, 2019, while the Huawei Mate 20 range landed in October 2018. So as there are no release date rumors yet, we can't narrow down the launch to a specific day or week, but the Mate 40 range is likely to land in September or October of 2020. Although we have heard couple of things, firstly they are likely to run Android without Google Play services, leaving them in a similar situation to the Huawei Mate 30 range. Huawei has built its own operating system, named Harmony OS, but they have said they are not gonna use it on Mate 40 range. It's also rumored that the Huawei Mate 40 range will use Kirin 1000 chipset. This chipset hasn't been announced, but according to Huawei Central, it will be the company's first to be made on 5 nanometer processor. And it will land in the second half of 2020, with the Huawei Mate 40 range being the first phones to use it. The Huawei Mate 30 and Huawei Mate 30 Pro are great phones, but with one major flaw and a number of smaller ones. Here are a few things we want to see on Huawei Mate 40 range. Our wishlist for the Huawei Mate 40 doesn't end at full Android, but it does start there. Without this, however great the handset is any other way, it will be crippled, so we really hope Huawei can come to an arrangement with the US that allows it to resume using Google's apps and services. bring back the volume buttons. The Mate 30 Pro made some daring design choices, including the removal of any physical volume buttons. Instead, you can use gesture controls to adjust the volume. And while these work well when the display is on, they don't work at all when it's off. This is a real annoyance, so for the Huawei Mate 40 range, we want either physical volume buttons or for the gesture controls to work when the display is off. No more notch. While the Huawei Mate 30 and especially the Mate 30 Pro generally look good, they both sport notches, which are looking increasingly dated. So for the Huawei Mate 40 range, we want the company to deliver an all-screen design with no notch and ideally no punch hole either. Sharper Screen Despite its cutting-edge specs, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro has just an 1176 x 2400 screen, while the standard Mate 30 has a similar resolution of 1080 x 2341. While these aren't bad resolutions, they are not quite QHD, and many rivals now have QHD Plus displays. So we would like to see a boost to at least 1440 x 2560 on the Huawei Mate 40 range. An in-screen camera. We reckon 2020 could be the year that we'll start seeing in-screen cameras in phones and we want the Huawei Mate 40 to be one of them. Not only that would be an impressive feature in its own right, it would also help get rid of the notch. Well that's all for now, thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more updates, till the next time.